Hello and welcome to HTL. Today we're going to be talking about drums. So, uh, basically in the beat and bass sound editor I've uh, created this sh short beat with raw samples from my samples over here. And I'm going to show you how to make these kind of uh, drum loops a bit better. So, uh, let's start off by adding each track to the FX mixer. This will help a lot when adding effects to change the sound. Um, I've also layered two snares together because that uh, often creates a bit more depth to uh, snare samples. So let's just name these. Um, okay, so firstly, uh, we've got the kick. We'll add an EQ effect to this. Uh, you want to kind of take away the lowest sound, the lowest of frequencies. Uh, basically, each sound is made up of different layers of uh, frequencies, and if you take away uh, or decrease the volume of those different layers. Um, it can change the sound quite a lot and make it better, uh, higher quality, or more depth, or more high frequencies, depending on which frequencies you boost. So we'll just solo this. Another good thing to do with uh, kicks is add a compressor. Uh, this creates more um, of a punch to the kick. So if you put the threshold all the way down, the ratio all the way up, the attack all the way up, and the release up, and gradually fade down until it sounds alright. If you also decrease the volume, um, this stops it from going over the uh, limit um, of decibels and creating clipping, so uh, you'll get better quality sound from that as well. You hear the difference between this and this? It's a lot more of a punch and it sounds uh, a lot clearer and better. Uh, if you edit the EQ after that as well. Let's do the hats next. Okay, so uh, the hats, um, you probably want to add uh, a high pass filter first. This is like an EQ, but just with the higher frequencies. So if we solo the hat. We'll also add an EQ to take away the very highest frequency so it doesn't end up uh, clashing with anything and sounding tinny. So you see that sounds a lot better for, uh, without the effects. Sounds a lot better. So let's hear that with the rest of the beat. And finally the snare. Um, really all you need to do is mess around with it quite a lot with the EQs. So we'll just solo it and the other snare. You might want to play around with the volume levels of each snare as well. Always take away the lowest frequencies because you don't want low frequencies in a snare. Unless you want a very punchy snare. But only um, 500 and up really if you want a punchy snare. Otherwise it sounds um, too low. The 
mainly uh, the frequencies you'll want to boost are the uh, 1 to 2 kilohertz. Also, a key thing to add to snares is a uh, reverb. Uh, the best kind of reverb, depending on what you're wanting, is calf reverb because there's enough um, settings for it. So take away the very base of it, increase the treble slightly. And the, the decay time. Mess around with the wet amount and the dry amount till it sounds cool. Uh, also, like I said, play around with the volume levels. You can also add a compressor to snares as well. Let's hear that with the rest of the beat. You might want to add a reverb to the hats as well. What's good is to also have um, a second hat. Basically, for the drums, um, it'll hopefully improve your uh, skills with drums quite a lot and um, improve the quality of your music overall because the drums is, are a very key part. And if you don't have good sounding drums, you don't have good sounding music. Uh, so, um, also, when you get more advanced again, uh, you'll start using external samples um, that aren't native to LMS, and that's always good because. Uh, they s often sound a lot better and will are a lot easier to edit and modify to sound great. So um, I hope this video helped you and c comment on how I can make it better.